Get it. <laughs> Hello, folks. Woo! Hello, folks. <laughs> My poem's entitled Headlines from LA to Boston. But I'd like to give special sh thanks to my friends who came out here to support me. Yeah! Woo! And I'm usually a part, I usually have a partner, his name's Eric Lim. I'd love to give him a special shout out. Thank you very much. But sorry if I stutter a little bit because I wrote this poem about a week ago in the wake of what happened at Boston. So before I start this, I would like for everyone to give me just 10 seconds of silence in remembrance of what happened. If that's cool with everyone, thank you. Boom! Thousands dead and the headlines read. 9-11, terror. Virginia Tech in cold blood. Sandy Hook Elementary, dozens killed. Columbine High School, oh God, kids, stay down. Colorado Aurora shooting, horrific. Boston bombing, marathon terror. And as I read these, all I can think is we're all just human beings, some tall, short, skinny, fat, yet some of us trading that hat that covers the bruises for a gun and ski mask. Taking lives in a quick flash, crashing planes in the building, leaving only tears and ash. Yet we say that metal detectors are supposed to find crooks and knives and books because who would have ever thought that shit would have happened to Sandy Hook? Now all we need to go and do is look in the past and we would have saw a Columbine blown away by assault shotguns and Virginia Tech knives booming fire like it was a Clint Eastwood movie. Now go ahead and blame the NRA. Yet you are as bloodthirsty and you call yourselves the PTA. So kick back and relax and watch the world fade into gray TV anchors telling us who's to blame And Westboro Baptist Church telling us we should be ashamed Because it's our fault because our soldiers are gay Yet all we have of them now is a folded flag and a picture in a glass frame No, 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 nothing will ever be the same No matter how loud you praise his name Whether it be peace be with God or Sharia Allah Our nation's words will always be in vain because our vanity knows no boundaries. Because I don't live for you, or you, or you. I live for me. And all we care about is the new celebrity couple between the sheets and how many of our homies are packing heat. But if you really want to know the truth, put your ear to the street and listen to the earth breathe. Then you'll realize that this world is overflowed with guns and poverty, that there are more bullets than there are malaria vaccinations, and bombs are being built as if America was their manifest destination. So fuck you if you're poor or Haitian, because oil spills and earthquakes are God's mistakes, not mine. Because damn, if you pray enough, you should be fine. And if you were to die, that shit was God's design that left you behind enemy lines that had set off an explosion leaving you deaf and blind that had a boy with an A4 shoot you while he was out of his mind. Because for real, all you had to do was look at the signs, pick up a newspaper and read the headlines. And in the headlines, you'll see the tears. And in the headlines is where our loved ones rest. So peace be to Boston and God bless. What's up, Anthony? Good, I'm doing good. Good. So, uh, I am charged with the task of interviewing you. You said you wrote that poem a week ago, and certainly it touches more than the headlines of just Boston, but it touches headlines from 9-11, uh, the Aurora shooting, uh, Newtown, and a series of other incidences uh, that, that has sort of been really, really in the, the, the national spotlight that are tragic incidents. What uh, about Boston specific that made you write that as opposed to the other events before Boston? Well, I mean, first of all, when I was looking on the computer, mm -hmm. uh, all I saw was in a, in a headline was this little boy named Martin, I believe it was. He got, he was, he died because of the Boston bombing and all I could think of was, like, what if I had a little brother, or what if, because, like, brothers and the other me, I have another brother, and if he was to die, I would be devastated, nice. let alone for some stupid terror act, and so I thought, like, I, I wouldn't be able to go through with that if my, 
if my brother died, you know? Right, right. And it's just really horrible. So I decided, like, if people people can't just brush these kinds of things off, they need to know about them, and they're very important. Because America is the other me. You're all, even if you are international students, everyone here is the other me of me. Right, I like that. I like that. And I like the notion, that we can certainly applaud for that answer if we want to. Absolutely. Yeah. Like this idea that your brother is the other you, and so that this young man that was killed in the the, 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 the Boston Marathon, the explosion that took course, is that 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 really touched you, made you think about your brother and how your brother is and is not that individual that happened and made you write that. Is that safe to say that that's the other you? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, good sir. Put your hands together. For <laughs> 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 <laughs>